Apple's MacBook Air has always been about one thing, giving users just the right balance between design and performance. Thin, light, and efficient, it's become the default choice for students, professionals, and creatives who want a reliable machine without bulk. With the M5 MacBook Air, Apple isn't trying to change that formula. Instead, it's refining it. And for many users, this refinement may just be the upgrade they've been waiting for. To understand what makes the M5 MacBook Air special, it helps to remember how far this device has come. Back in 2022, Apple introduced a major redesign for the MacBook Air with the launch of the M2 chip. The wedge-shaped body was replaced with a more squared, uniform chassis. The ports were updated, MagSafe returned, and the display became brighter, with thinner bezels and a notch. It was a big shift, and users embraced it. A year later, Apple introduced a 15.3-inch version of the MacBook Air. This gave users more screen space without moving into MacBook Pro territory. For those who wanted a larger display without a heavier body or fans, it was a game-changer. Then, in 2024, Apple dropped the M4 version. This upgrade delivered better battery life and modest speed boosts, and even came in new colors like sky blue. It felt fresh but still familiar down. In 2026, the MacBook Air M5 arrives. And while the outer design stays the same, what's happening on the inside could make this one of the most exciting Air updates in years. At the center of it all is Apple's brand new M5 chip. The M5 chip brings with it a 25% performance boost across the board. That includes faster CPU speeds, improved graphics performance, and a smarter neural engine. In everyday terms, that means your apps launch quicker. Multitasking becomes smoother. Rendering in creative apps like Final Cut or Logic feels snappier. And despite all that added power, the battery life still excellent. Apple has kept its chip architecture fairly consistent. The M5 is expected to stick with the 10-core CPU layout. With six efficiency cores and four performance cores, there's also a possibility that some base models will feature slightly reduced core counts to optimize yield and lower costs. This wouldn't be unusual. Apple has used this strategy before to get more mileage out of its chip production. Still, performance on all models should be strong. Memory is another area where the M5 MacBook Air is finally stepping up. For years, users have asked Apple to increase the base RAM, especially as apps and macOS itself become more demanding. Now, it looks like 16 gigabytes will be the new starting point. For most people, that's a solid amount. But if you need more, Apple will offer upgrades to 24 gigabytes and even 32 gigabytes, even more exciting. Storage. Apple has stuck with 256 gigabytes base models for too long. In 2026, that might finally change. Rumor suggests that the M5 MacBook Air will start with 512 gigabytes of storage. That's a huge quality of life upgrade. No more constantly juggling files or relying on external drives. More space means more freedom to work, store, and create, of course. Many people hoped that this would be the year Apple brought all to the MacBook Air, but that's not happening just yet. Instead, Apple seems to be holding old displays for future generations likely starting with the M7 or M8 models. For now, the MacBook Air will continue using its excellent Retina display. And let's be clear, this isn't a bad thing. While old offers true blacks and more vibrant colors, Apple's current LCD panels are still among the best in the business. The Retina display remains sharp, bright, and color accurate. It's a display that gets the job done whether you're editing photos, watching videos, or just reading emails. Also missing. Promotion that's the 120Hz refresh rate found on MacBook Pros and iPads. The Air continues to operate at 60 Hz. Again, this is a decision rooted in keeping things efficient. Higher refresh rates draw more power. And Apple seems focused on maintaining long battery life over fancy visuals, at least for now in terms of design. The M5 MacBook Air will look exactly like its predecessor. That's not a surprise. Apple typically sticks with the design for at least five years. The current MacBook Air design is only four years old, so don't expect any radical visual changes until at least the M7 or M8 generation. Still, the design works. It's light, thin, and functional. The aluminum body feels premium. The MagSafe charging port adds convenience. Two Thunderbolt ports give you enough flexibility for most workflows. And yes, the headphone jack is still there. That's something to be grateful for. The keyboard is full-sized and includes Touch ID, which continues to be a fast and secure way to log in and make payments. What about battery life? With the M5 chip, Apple is focusing not just on speed, but on efficiency. Early tests suggest that the M5 MacBook Air will offer up to 18 hours of battery life. That's more than enough for a full day of work, classes, or travel. And because the Air is fanless, you get all that performance in total silence. Apple has always been known for tight hardware software integration, with macOS optimized for Apple Silicon. Performance doesn't just mean speed, it means smoothness. Apps open instantly, switching between tasks is seamless. And even heavier workflows like video editing or software compiling feel fluid. In 
terms of pricing, Apple is expected to keep things familiar. The 13.6-inch MacBook Air M5 should start around $1,099. The 15.3-inch model may come in at $1,299 if Apple does upgrade the base storage to 512 gigabytes. A $100 price bump would be reasonable. Still, that would represent good value considering what you're getting. For students, writers, developers, and anyone who just needs a reliable, powerful laptop the M5 MacBook Air is hard to beat. It's not trying to be a MacBook Pro, and that's okay. It's meant to be a great laptop for most people, and in that mission it continues to succeed. There's also something reassuring about Apple's slow, steady refinement of the Air. The design doesn't change for the sake of it. Features are added only when they're truly ready, and performance always takes priority. That's why the Air continues to be the best-selling Mac year after year. What Apple is doing with the M5 Air is smart. They're improving what matters speed, efficiency, and user experience while keeping everything that already works. That means users can upgrade with confidence. And new buyers can enter the Apple ecosystem with a machine that feels premium from day one. In a world where many laptops chase gimmicks, the MacBook Air stays grounded. It knows what it is. And with the M5 chip, it gets even better at it.